Voting for Anusa has officially opened. We interviewed all seven candidates running to be undergrad rep on ANU Council, five of which are also running to be president of Anusa. We want to learn what their unique policies are and their vision for these roles to help you decide. Hello, I'm Kai um, and I'm running for ANU Council. Um, I'm a fourth year Asian Studies student and I previously served on ANUSA as the 2019 CAP representative and have since then written extensively about the university, its strategic plans, and my time on ANUSA. Now, I'm running for council for two clear reasons. First of all, we know nothing about the role. The ANUSA president has held it since it became an elected role since 2017, and since then we've seen no transparency or accountability, and we don't know what they do on council. The second problem is that the ANUSA president has a conflict of interest by being on council. As president, they should, as a student association leader, speak out against university policy, except by sitting on council, they can't. In their mind, they can't risk that relationship, as we don't know whether that relationship is paid off, and it's coming at the cost of whether the president can actually advocate for students publicly and in private rooms. And that is why I'm running, to both be an independent candidate, but also work with ANUSA to ensure that student advocacy and student voices are heard on the council. Thank you. Hi, my name is Madhu and as your current VP, I am really excited to announce my candidacy for President and Uni Council Member for 2021. You may have seen parts of my work this year with securing the CRS-CRN grading system, masks for the bushfire crisis and securing $1 million in emergency grants to an instant pass this year and I believe that my track record speaks for itself. I believe that my policy platforms from President bleed over quite well. In terms of my SASH policy platform, I've worked in space for two years and I'm very excited to be running with a team that has also been working on it consistently all of this year. I'm very focused on examining the future of the CRCC on campus now that that service is leaving campus, addressing institutional responses to disclosures and how this university is handling them, and of course, increasing training and resourcing for all services across campus. Uni Council Member is held by a student that you can trust to stick up for you and your values. My main policy platforms this year are SASH, wellbeing, and a five-year strategic plan, all of which are things that I've worked upon extensively across last year and this year. I'm James. I'm running with Refocus Your Noosa to be the next president and undergraduate council member for the ANU Council. I'm running for president after serving this year as the College of Arts and Social Sciences representative, having fought hard against Proctorio, having been there to deal with all the academic advocacy issues that students have had to face this year. I think ANUSA needs to get back to basics. We want to make sure that ANUSA is financially responsible, that it's preparing for challenges and cuts to the higher education sector, and that it's at the forefront of the fight back against the government's cuts to higher ed, to make sure we don't support fee hikes, that we mobilise students and work together to get the best outcomes for all of us. Uh, I believe that ANUSA needs a new direction, one that's not part of the dynasty that's ruled ANUSA for the past decade, but one that's prepared for the challenges of tomorrow, that's got new ideas, got fresh ideas, and got a plan forward. Hi, I'm Skanda Panitharatna. I'm the candidate for president and uni council rep on the Go the Distance with ANUSA ticket. This year, I've been the ANUSA education officer fighting against proctoria and free hikes. My team and I have a strong policy experience in ANUSA and we're keen to ensure that ANUSA continues to provide the core services that students so value. That includes ensuring that social events are accessible to all and continue to build community in a student population that's had a really hard year and is going to have a tough year next year as well. It involves um, in continuing our welfare pro programs which provide benefits to students who are in real need of help. Personally, I want to see ANUSA have a strong strategic direction moving forward, remaining accountable and transparent to the student body. I think my experience in student media has given me a lot of value for independent, transparent organisations, which I hope to continue to bring into ANUSA. A lot of what I want to do involves continuing on work that's already been done by this year's ANUSA exec and previous ANUSA execs. That is, may not be the sexiest policies, but it's stuff that needs to be done. We need a, a strong, independent, policy-focused team, and I encourage you to vote for Go the Distance with ANUSA if that's a team for you. Hi, I'm Ben. I'm a current general representative on ANUSA who's currently running for president in a very wild election, but I'm running through my experience as the Dining Society president best new club on campus 2018. Um, I'm running on a bold vision that's this idea of a big proud association that we can all get behind and get excited for. Other candidates are running on this idea of austerity and folding in the face of the coronavirus. We need to come out of the gate in 2021, a big loud and proud association that's fun, 
fierce and focused. I'm the only presidential candidate of a major ticket who, who doesn't have a student political faction alignment or anything like that. I'm focused here on Anusa, on ANU students, and I really want to come out of that gate ready with a big wide O week, a big exciting projects for clubs and societies, engaging with discipline clubs, really empowering advocacy voices on this campus, bringing in a way that's intersectional and representational of all students on this campus. I want something big, loud, and something that genuinely students can be proud of, to pardon the pun there. Hi, I'm Benjamin Chesler, and I'm running for undergraduate member on ANU Council. My vision for the role of undergraduate member on ANU Council is that held by an independent member from ANUSA. I believe the role is, requires a person who has the time, the dedication and the focus needed to speak to the highest echelons of ANU. My policy platform revolves around a report presented to the ANU Council by the undergraduate member. I aim to bring the concerns and issues of the student body at the, to the forefront of ANU Council's attention. Over an extensive consultation process with the student body and student representatives, I will assess what issues are affecting the student body, present these in a report firstly to the SRC and OGM of ANUSA for greater feedback, then to ANU Council for noting so that the ANU Council knows what issues are affecting the student body. Now normally when I approach uh, certain community leaders and members of the university, I like to do things ad lib, which is from the heart rather than overly polished and rehearsed, I tend to do things rather informally. I mean, just earlier this week I got the Chancellor Julie Bishop to have an informal discussion with us on our careers night. And I offer a style of leadership that can walk among leaders yet keep the common touch, not just for the sake of partnership, but for a general investment of creating value and a vision where we are able to study in a more respective and trusting environment. Trust between the ANU and the university has eroded. I'm planning to present a policy and a vision that will allow us to move forward on a new relationship that's built on trust and an experience that is truly for the students. Thank you.